So desmoid tumors are a rare form of tumor that happens in, well, the predominant age is between 30 and 40, but it does happen in children too and can happen in older people. They occur um, in many parts of the body, but more, mostly they're in the peripheral, the, the limbs and in the body cavities in the thorax and in the abdomen. Um, they present as, well, sometimes a lump, sometimes pain, which is hard to pin down and hard to diagnose. Um, and they, they're locally aggressive, so they, they don't metastasize as a traditional cancer would, but they are locally aggressive. And because of that, they can invade into local structures and cause damage that way. And actually can be fatal that way if they invade into you know, vital structures. Um, they are, they're notorious for being recurrent. So if you resect them, somewhere between 50 to 70% of people will get a recurrence. And that recurrence tends to be a bit more aggressive than the original tumor was. And it sets in motion a kind of, a, you know, a repeated surgeries and, and the tumor becoming more and more aggressive as they go along. Um, and because this is in young people, um, that results in a huge amount of morbidity and, and, and ill health for those patients. And so although it's quite rare, it's about 1,000 to 1,500 patients a year in the US, it still results in quite a significant burden to, to those patients. Um, and clearly what we want to do is to, there are no approved therapies, I should add. Um, and what we're trying to do is produce the first of those approved therapies with our, our drug. Music